Oh, you see. Oh, okay. That would make sense. Okay. Hi, everyone. Hey, guys. Um, Emma, to talk about, you know, you come from the Gallaghers, and now you're with the Connors. How do the families compare or differ, and how much do you need to catch up on Roseanne? I caught up a lot on Roseanne. I watched about the first four seasons, and I'm still catching up because it's so good. And I don't know, I mean, the Connors and the, the Gallaghers are obviously different families, but they both have the same family value and the same love for each other and connection and family bond. I think I love them. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, what was it like walking back into the original set for you guys and seeing everything, all the old cast members? What, what has that been like for y'all? I think it's, it was really a surreal experience for all of us, especially that first day. Uh, to see kind of the set recreated and then to see everybody fit right back into that set, that you know, perfect kind of match. It's like going back to work with your friends and family and it's the perfect group. It's funny for me because I live on the East Coast and I have for 25 years. And so being in California, being on our same lot, being on our same set, walking, well, not exactly the same set, but what, you know, what appeared to be our same set, walking in and seeing this group of people that I used to spend every day with for years, and that includes the cast, and that includes writers, the crew, and it was just really um, so powerful that it's such a blessing. I mean, I just, I, you know, for all of Becky and Darlene's struggles, I wanted to grab Sarah and give her a kiss because she brought us all back together, and, and maybe that would have never happened, so it was very, very powerful and, and a huge blessing. Yeah, I think it was emotional for all of us. I think uh, it was kind of overwhelming at first, and then I think we were really amazed by how much the kids, the new members of the cast, really fit in so well. Uh, the casting has been fantastic, and the writing's always been good, and, and our crew is something special. We have a lot of our crew members back, and we really kind of completed that whole uh, environment. Well, I think this question is for you, just based on age at the time. Age. So, <laughs> same, same. Uh, so, as I told you, I'm kind of from the same area as you, and I wrote a paper in the eighth grade about the show because it was the first time I saw people on TV who looked like people I knew. It wasn't family ties, it wasn't growing pains, it was real life. So did you have that experience when you read the script? How did, how did you feel when you first heard about the show? Um, well, I was... You know, in junior high school in Evanston, Illinois, and um, I didn't have an agent. I was in acting classes, and I loved it. And um, I did a couple auditions, and I was sitting in my parents' kitchen, and I was eating Chinese food, and I cracked open a fortune cookie, and it said, you will be graced with the presence of stardom. And the phone rang, and they said I had a call back for Roseanne. And it was like maybe five, I mean, less than five minutes after I opened the fortune cookie. And it was just such a weird, like, but I never thought anything would come of it. But um, I knew nothing about Roseanne. I knew nothing about the show. I didn't know. The only thing that I knew about it is that Lori Metcalf was in it because she was a big local celebrity in the theater. And my parents went to Steppenwolf and saw her in the theater. So when I was auditioning and they flew me out to California and I thought, I'm never gonna get this. My mom said, don't you want to read over the material? And I said, nah, <laughs> you know, this, look, LA, look, at Universal Studios. And so then Roseanne came on set and I just saw her and I went, oh my God, like who is this woman? And, and I just went, wait a second, I, what is this? Because I had only seen all the shows that had been on, which were so, not 1950s, but really kind of still like that. Still with the mother and the father and, you know, kind of the perfect family. And I felt like it was kind of intimidating to me because that's the only thing I had seen on TV was that. And so I felt like, wait a second, we're poor? You know, I thought we'd be rich and fabulous and I'm like, we're poor and we're struggling as a kid, but then I realized, because I come from Midwestern stock, and my, you know, working class, that's my background, that I felt this enormous 
sense of pride all of a sudden. And I felt like, this is my family that I'm representing. The family that I love, who maybe weren't educated, who didn't go to graduate from high school, but who deserve, who are intelligent, who are warm, who are talented and loving, and deserve a voice. And it became this really interesting kind of maturity wave that I've experienced that was so powerful.